goal? It was never my intent to deceive you. As long as the Dragon Sworn holds the power of Tilt End, the only thing for me to do is attempt to reverse the contract. Reverse the contract? The power of the Dragon Tongue was given in exchange for the story of the five heroes, which said that the light of each hero's soul gem shines with the truth of their story. However, should any of the hero stories be untrue, I can take back said power. <sighs> you want me to crush my soul gem that holds the very truth of my story? To undo everything that has brought me here, made me who I am? You're telling me to become a cookie who cannot protect her own kingdom, family, or friends? I'd never even imagined becoming someone who's unable to protect this world. I promise you in Dragon Tongue, which I am unable to disobey, that if you use your soul jam to help me now, I will rescue your friends and use all of my strength in the war against Dark Enchantress Cookie. In exchange for the power of your soul jam, I will protect the cookie world with my dragon powers. There is no time. The red dragon might attack you and your friends any moment now. After all, this is its birthplace. Only very cookie. Your soul jam or the world you have sworn to protect. Which will you choose from the two? I... Honeyberry Cookie, your soul jam, or everything else you hold dear. If you promise to use your dragon strength to protect him, if that's really the case, then it's an easy decision. My kingdom, my cookies, everyone I hold dear. Surely my soul jam is not the only way to protect them, after all. The Soul Jam itself comes from the will to become the shield for everyone who requires my protection. If you swear to use your dragon powers for the good of all cookie kind, I will exchange my Soul Jam for your powers. So, you agree to become a cookie who will no longer be able to protect anything by herself? I may become less strong than I am now. I will never stop doing what I can to protect other cookies. My urge to protect will not disappear just because my soul jam is gone. Whatever I have to do, I will never give up fighting. Even if losing my soul jam means getting a bit weaker, I will fight until my very last crumb. But in return, you must make this promise in Dragon Tongue, so not even you can win. If I make this promise in Dragon Tongue, there is no going back. You understand this, yes? Yes, I understand. You seem quite sure. It feels like the first time the light of passion shone upon me. Back when I first realized what I need to protect and how. It was the same for all five of us. While our methods were different, and the light in our hearts shone in our own unique way. We were only able to encounter the light because we all had something we wanted to protect. Ugh. Wait. Five of us? You... You said you'd heard the story about the five heroes from the Dragon Sword, right? Did that story... include White Lily Cookie? Yes. White Lily Cookie whose soul jam held the light of freedom. Oh. White Lily Cookie is no longer a cookie hero. Instead, she is tormenting cookies in her pursuit to bake the most perfectly sweet cookie of all. And her name is no longer White Lily Cookie, but Dark Enchantress Cookie. The perfectly sweet cookie. While I'm unaware of what happened to White Lily Cookie's soul jam, there's no way her story remains true. <sighs> the Dragon Sworn also vowed to bake the most perfectly 
sweet cookie. Dark Enchantress cookie. So it was you all along. <laughs> Arrogance. How dare you try to deceive me. <laughs> Cookies are so interesting! What are you saying? <laughs> oh, I see. I understand it all. Why that vile caramel creature is hovering around this nest. Why it has hidden the seal deep within my throne. To make sure I would not rush in there. To trick and mislead me. Dark Enchantress Cookie. You did this to hide that the power of Tilden that you obtained falsely is incomplete! Then what about your promise to me? There is no need for you to worry. Leave the nest to me and save your friends at the entrance. I... Pitaya Dragon Cookie, what is that supposed to mean? You cookies are so small, weak, and fragile. But you are smart. You stick together and manage to survive after all. Dark Enchantress Cookie. I'm sure you never imagined that I would risk my life to destroy my own throne. <laughs> Witness me, Dark Enchantress Cookie. When I destroy that seal and burn my throne, we will see whether I can reclaim the power of Tilt End or perish! What are you saying? You're going to burn this place? If that's the gamble at hand, leave this place, Hollyberry Cookie. Whether you and your friends remain here or not, I will do what I must. Use your soul gem to save your friends from crumbling in the collapsing cave. Tire Dragon Cookie, you... Do you really mean that? I will get back the strength I traded for White Lily Cookie's story, even if I have to risk my life for it. End. Tilt end on. Your shield, Hollyberry Cookie. <gasps> My back! <coughs> Pataya Dragon Cookie. Did they fail? I wonder. Oh, I babbled on about the contract even though I knew nothing about it. Maybe I really should have sacrificed my soul jam.
good it feels to fly. My strength is overflowing. Fatia Cookie is the greenish red dragon. Correct. Although I hid it for uh, reasons. I have been traveling alongside a dragon this whole time. I can't believe I didn't notice it in any way. Maybe I'm losing my touch. <laughs> Mister. Mm -hmm. Are you scared, little cookie? Now that you've realized what my true form is? The red dragon counts for just one monster, right? <laughs> yes, let's say that. Pitaya Dragon Cookie, <laughs> I see you've regained your strength. I have. I reclaim the powers I once gave to White Lily of... Dark Enchantress Cookie! But wait a minute. Then all you've done is reclaim the price you paid for White Lily Cookie's story? Well, what about the other four stories? Perhaps I should crush the remaining Soul Jam. But I doubt you would let me do so, no? Now that I'm sure who the Dragon Swarm truly is, I must simply defeat her and my powers will return! Are you planning to keep your promise and fight Dark Enchantress Cookie with us? Naive cookies. Promises made in cookie language mean little to dragons, but our goals are the same for the time. Ho ho ho! An alliance. I like that. Very well. I look forward to fighting by your side, Pattaya Dragon Cookie. It was my honor to fight by your side once more, Holly Berry Cookie. The winner of our bet is you. Next time we meet, I will get you those 36 glasses of juice. Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho! And you better not forget it. Royal Margarine Cookie, where will you be off to? I'm going back to the Dragon Rider Clan. It's very late, but... I realize that to get real dragon rider training is not such a bad idea. Although, I'm sure the Eldress will give me a big scolding. Well then, my beautiful holly berry cookie, until next time. <laughs> yes, I'll be sure to drop by sometime. <sighs> What's on your mind, my friend? Something still doesn't make sense to me. Dark Enchantress Cookie's power. It must be great if she was able to distort a contract made in Dragon Tongue. I'm not sure what exactly is happening in Beast Yeast right now, but it is clear that she is gathering her power there. And the fact that she was able to steal away your ancient powers just means that she's already that strong. A great battle is coming. And there will be no way out of it. Fine by me, I say. Soon I shall regain my former strength. <laughs> I hope this day comes sooner than later. <coughs> Whoa! I, I, huh, I had completely forgotten about this little fella. I've told it to go, but it keeps sticking around. <laughs> you saw me transforming into a cookie and decided to do the same, huh? Is that what happened? <laughs> <laughs> it's certainly not a regular little dragon we have here. Thank <laughs> you.